Hi again and welcome back to CalLab Marketing. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a safe island for your PLC adapter setup. Now as in previous segments, we're going to go through the same three step process. The first step is to identify the equipment that you want to protect as well as the external connections coming in. The second step is to unify the equipment in that setup into a single system. And the third step is to ensure correct CLLI or correct CalLab Lightning Isolator installation. Now let's take a look at the typical PLC adapter setup, shall we? Now in a typical PLC adapter, you'd obviously have the PLC adapter, perhaps a plasma or CLD TV, LCD TV setup box, game console, laptop, and perhaps a LAN switch as well. Now we're again going to draw the imaginary boundary to signify the island. Once we've known what equipment you want to protect, let's go ahead and identify the external connections. This particular case, the PLC adapter would have um, be connected to the power supply. Um, LCD or plasma TV to power supply, setup box, power supply, game console, laptop, and LAN switch also power supply. Now it's good to note that there are other lines in the island are uh, highlighted in amber or orange. Now those lines would signify LAN or Ethernet cables. And you'd note that these cables are connecting all the equipment within the island. So these cables are internal connections that do not leave the island. So the only external connections that we've identified are the power supply. So that's step number one, we've identified the equipment you want to protect as well as the external connections. Step number two is to unify the equipment in this setup into a single system. So let's draw your attention to the right hand side of the board here. Now the first thing we've identified is the external connections, which is the power supply. Okay, And as in previous segments, the first thing you need to do is to use the correct lightning isolator model. In this particular case, we're going to introduce a lightning isolator for PLC adapter setups. Uh, this model is called a Schwer Streamer. The first installation um, that has to be done is that the uh, three-pin plug of the Schwer Streamer has to be plugged directly to a wall outlet. Okay, that is the most important step. And then in this particular um, lightning isolator model or the Schwer Streamer, the PLC adapter has to be plugged into the uppermost um, socket. and then your uh, interconnected equipment power supply connected into either one of these two sockets here. Now because we have only one type of external connection to deal with, which is the power supply, no unification is needed in this particular case because it is also already done within the isolator itself. Okay, So the correct installation is to ensure that the three pin plug of the isolator is plugged directly to the wall outlet PLC adapter goes to the uh, top um, uh, socket, interconnected equipment go to the bottom two um, sockets on the isolator. Okay, so that's steps one, two, and three all together. Now, let's take a look in, um, in the physical form. We have a three pin wall outlet here, and this is the Schwer Streamer model that we've described uh, on the board. As you can see, this is the model here. So again, correct installation would be to plug the three pin plug of the Schwer Streamer into the foot wall outlet first, mention first point of contact. And then the PLC adapter goes to the topmost outlet, which is here. The extension or interconnected equipment power supply can be used either here or here, which is the remaining two um, sockets. Okay, and of course, the LAN cable will be connected to whatever interconnected equipment you have in that setup. Okay, So this is how you create a safe island for a PLC adapter setup. We hope you've enjoyed this segment. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned for the next segment.